Welcome, ladies, gentlemen, and whatever else found its way into my little neck of the internet. This is Mike. It's another Sisyphean tangent. Today, we're going to face the horror of what is Watsy selling direct singles to players. So, for those who don't know, I'm going to open a couple of predetermined uh, products here. The first is the Secret Layer Drop Series. You know, don't miss it. Uh, don't miss a drop some I don't remember what it is for those of you who don't know secret layer came out about I think it's a year and a half ago. I don't know time flies, but with <gasps> the Infamous walking dead Secret layer and you can tell they're doing a lot better with the packaging now but the walking dead super layer made the mistake of <gasps> putting Mechanically unique cards into play that instantly got play in legacy and whatnot for me Rick steadfast leader I don't want machine guns on the Watsy universe, but I couldn't help but begrudgingly put it into my cigar to Heron's grace deck I was building an ETH so I guess it's karma or you know good luck. I don't know what you want to call it, but I haven't drawn them in a non mulligan hand yet So what that's good Anywho, secret layers have always done well as an investment, uh, and some people got upset. Some have gone as far to include one reprint, like Bitter Blossom, which is tokens. And today we're going to do some dark-themed ones. We've got Thrilling Tales of the Undead and Monster Movie Marathon. i got foil editions because bling, what? I don't know. I spend money on magic cards too much. And we got the Commander Collection Black, which is self-described as... Some of Black's most iconic commander cards. This is the uh, second, third, I don't know. I think it's on the cards. I don't know, but you can see you know what you're going to get. So these are usually a value, like 50 bucks, I think, each is what I paid for the non-foil one. There's a foil premium, whatever they call it. That is unfortunately a lot of money. And, uh, you know, we're going to start with this. Because why not? It's been a while since I opened one of these. But I think this is a second or third. I know there's a green. I feel like that was the second one. I'm not remembering the first offhand. But it's pretty good value. Oh, this looks cool. Whoa. Huh? Oh. Flippity floppity. All right. Whatever. We've got... Looks like some different packaging. Okay. 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 But I'll pick this stuff up later. I saved this stuff. I'm always CD, but for sake of y'all, I can throw it on the floor. Well, that might be a bent corner. Uh oh. Ah, I lost the lily. All right, there we go. So, first of all, I got Lila, Liliana Heretical Healer, which means there's a backside Defiant Necromancer. That's a fun card. I've liked that since Origins came out. Ghoul Caller Gisa. Gisa, 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 I'm not 100. Then we've got Ophiomancer, a card I did not have or know existed. Apparently, I needed a reprint. What? I don't know. Phyrexia Arena, one of the reasons I bought this set. I did not own a copy of Phyrexia Arena before now, but now I do. Reanimate, that's uh, is always a solid card. I have the Tempest, I think it's Tempest, right version, but... Toxic Deluge, again, always a solid card. Soul Ring, because they always need new art for Soul Ring. That looks amazing. I like that one. CC2, it's only the second one. Ha, huh, green and black. I didn't forget, it just wasn't a thing. Special Command Tower with Davriel Kane. I didn't know that was his last name. I don't know if, I wonder if he's related to Dean. Anyhow, and the Ophiomancer token. Plus, oh, I think that's Liliana's dead brother. At least you don't know the story. It's pretty cool. You should look it up. But basically, she tries to save her brother and uh, takes the advice of the Raven Man. And instead, she turns brother into something cursed. Anywho, Secret Layers, Thrilling Tales, then what should we do? Let's do Thrilling Tales. I guess I do. This is my first of opening. Oh, <laughs> you're welcome. This is my first opening of the new packaging, all right? So you see you get packaging and a packaging. So you get some card stock, followed by the thing you're probably supposed to save and cherish. And more, oh, okay. Packaging, packaging, packaging. And what we have here, 
Grave crawler. And there's always a card in the bottom. Okay, mine's apparently a mountain this time. I don't know what was possible. I'm going to open this up, and I won't waste your all time while I try and open this uh, cellophane stuff on the one card. But what I will do is open it for these so we can see what's in here. First of all, that's why a lot of people don't like to buy foils. But if you haven't already seen it, you should look up my reverse foil or reverse roller. I don't remember what it was called. Now, I call it a reverse roller, but that's not what the original guy called it. I got glue on my thumb from that. That ain't cool. All right, whatever. I'm trying to get that off. All right, so grave crawler. So get revenge or die trying. It's a pretty cool reprint. Liliana, Death's Majesty. I did not have one of these, so why not? That does look pretty baller. And Rise of the Dark Realms. Lock your doors, they're coming at you. Three, two cards I did not have, and one I did not have enough of. And those look pretty amazing, I'm not gonna lie. So, Secret Lairs are usually of value what i mean is what they charge you usually they manage to include a reprint that they know is good this i was looking forward to this is the uh monster movie marathon that was on the well the one i threw whatever and these are like mo movie post uh, oh you know what just just, just mountains some special about this mountain it's just a mountain, right? Let me know. Get in the comments. Anywho, let's uh I don't like uh how much glue is on here. Damn. Whatever. But I was really excited for this secret layer because this one looks so cool. I'm gonna have so much glue. I don't even think I want to use my right thumb to touch these cards anymore and want to finish this video for everybody so you know what we're gonna like get awkward with it all right this member which member <laughs> i just remember anyhow that oh that looks so cool i was excited for this one i didn't did not know it would be on top blasphemous act it's a great board sweep i should probably have my zergo home smasher deck but do not yet i put one in you know which copy it'll be beast within its controller creates a green beast token i whatever it's a solid removal like they put in things that are play good reprints graph diggers cage oh that looks that's going to the sideboard. Anyhow, that's it. Another Sisyphean tangent for y'all. So now you know what these are. If you didn't know what these products were before, you know. If you didn't know, now you know. I'll see you next week.